the rumors have come true. Enter the Canon R5C. Canon has improved on the R5 by creating another version with filmmakers in mind. The R5 is still on the market and serves many people's uses, but there were calls for Canon to go above and beyond the capabilities the R5 provides. The R5C is truly a hybrid shooter's camera. It still has a 45 megapixel CMOS sensor that has built quite a following. You also have the ability to shoot 20 frames per second in stills mode, 8K video recording capability, and it takes the LP E6 NH batteries. The first and most obvious feature about this camera is the introduction of an active cooling fan to manage heat. This is a feature seen on cinema cameras like the C70 and the C300 Mark III due to the amount of heat generated from the higher resolutions and frame rates. As a result, you also get unlimited recording time. Yes, you can record as long as you have memory and power. Speaking of higher resolutions and frame rates, the R5C can shoot up to 8K Canon Cinema Raw light at 60 frames per second. Let that sink in, that's right. 8K 60 frames per second. And you can shoot 4K up to 120 frames per second. Now may I remind you, this is all recorded internally to a CF Express Type B card, coupled with an SD card slot for lower res or proxy recordings. So if you're trying to keep your kit small and unassuming, this may be all you need. For those shoots that you need to record externally to a recorder or wireless HDMI transmitter for focus pulling, you can via the micro HDMI port. Going back to the point about this being a true hybrid camera, you have access to a dedicated photo menu or video menu by flipping the power switch to one side or the other. If you've used an R5 or an R6, this will be the same menu for your still shooting. And if you have any experience with Canon's cinema line of cameras, the menu on the video switch is going to be familiar. In addition, the R5C also has exposure tools like waveform overlay and false color, as well as aspect markers. To better customize the R5C for your use, Canon has made sure that you can assign buttons for your needs. Out of the box, the camera has pre-assigned buttons depending on which menu you're using. Of course, any of these numbered buttons can be reassigned based on how you shoot. In our testing, we assigned the number 12 button for 4K 120 recording and the number 10 button on the top for focus peaking. As far as audio goes, you have reference microphones on the front. You still have a 3.5 millimeter TRS jack to plug in a microphone, but you also have the option to get the Tascam four channel XLR adapter that fits onto the new hot shoe without any extra cables. This is the same new hot shoe found on the Canon R3. For those of you using the R5C in a multicam scenario, it has a built-in timecode port so you can jam timecode sync into each camera. This feature alone could save you hours on a longer shoot like a concert or a wedding. There are a few features the Canon R5C has gone without to better maximize performance and to keep it this size. First, the camera does not include the in-body image stabilizer. Secondly, there are some higher frame rate RAW modes that will not allow you to use the LP E6 NH battery when using RF and some EF lenses. You'll need to use an alternative power source for it. If you're using any manual cine lenses, then you won't have to worry about this. Priced at $44.99, it's about $600 more than the R5. So if you see yourself using a camera like the R5, but you need added features of a cinema camera, then the Canon R5C is your best choice. To order one for your kit, visit any of our physical locations or online at bedfords.com. My name is Tyler with Bedford Camera and Video, and we'll see you next time.